conflict in Putin's entourage has surfaced over the division of positions and offices after the presidential elections. It has emerged that former Russian Defense Minister Shoigu did not share an office with one of Putin's closest associates, Patrushev, after his appointment to the post of Secretary of the Russian Security Council. Having received the new post of Secretary of the Security Council of Russia in May, Shoigu was unable to move into the office assigned to his predecessor in this post, one of the informed interlocutors told Proekt. The interview that Shoigu gave in September confirms this information. The former Minister of Defense gave it not from the office in which Nikolai Patrushev had previously sat. When Putin transferred Patrushev from Security Council Secretary to his assistant on May 14, 2024, he asked his boss to leave him a luxurious office, one of the informed interlocutors told Proekt. Putin agreed, but did not come up with anything in return for Shoigu, who was supposed to move in there. He specified. In a September interview with state television channel Russia 24, Shoigu sits in an office decorated in dark wood. The Security Council emblem is illuminated in the background. The emblem is out of place. It was simply placed there for the filming and the flag is positioned nearby in such a way that it interferes with the person sitting at the desk. Proekt reports. Patrushev's office was filmed during an interview with the Commerçant newspaper in 2021. The room was decorated in a completely different style. The source believes that Shoigu now periodically sits in the building of the Russian Geographical Society. Recall Vladimir Putin has often cut a solitary figure as Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine drags on, but his position is bolstered by a deeply loyal entourage that has hardly changed in years. As Commander-in-Chief, ultimate responsibility for the invasion rests with him, but he is reliant on an inner circle, many of whom began their careers in Russia's security service. The number of people Putin counts on as close or trusted aides and advisers is small and composed primarily of colleagues from his days serving as a KGB officer and those he met while a deputy to the mayor of St. Petersburg in the 1990s after the collapse of the Soviet Union. The Ukrainian armed forces captured a rare Russian stealth drone S-70 Okotnik, writes Forbes. The publication writes that the drone fell in the area of Chesov Yar, and the Russian Federation has only a few such devices at its disposal, the cost of which is approximately $1.5 billion. Now the drone, or its parts, have fallen into the hands of the Ukrainian armed forces. This is a significant loss for the Russian Aerospace Forces, since there are only a few such drones with a 65-foot wingspan and a jet engine, Forbes analyst David Axe reported. According to him, one of these UAVs or its wreckage is now in the possession of Ukraine and its allies. They will disassemble it down to the last screw and, of course, familiarize themselves with its rich internal contents, said Fighter Bomber, an unofficial telegram channel of the Russian Air Force. The analyst notes that it is unclear what exactly caused the drone to be shot down while it was trying to avoid radar detection. Video from the ground clearly shows a military aircraft firing a missile at the arrow-shaped Okotnik, causing it to crash. The question arises, was it a Ukrainian fighter jet, or perhaps a Russian one? The first version seems more likely, but the second is not excluded either, he points out. If the Okotnik was out of action, the Russians might decide to shoot it down themselves to avoid the risk of it crash landing and falling into the hands of the Ukrainian military in relatively undamaged condition. I really hope it was a loss of control due to something going wrong, or the drone's brain going crazy for its own reasons, not because the drone was intercepted by the enemy," fighter bomber wrote. One of the possible reasons for the downing of the Okotnik could have been intense electronic warfare on the front line. According to experts, the drone probably does not have full autonomy and relies on stable communication with ground operators. Now Ukrainian and allied analysts can confirm this feature by examining the remains of the downed device. It is a major loss for the Russian Air Force, which has already lost more than 100 combat aircraft, including a Su-57 fighter, during the war in Ukraine. 
It is noted that the first images of the Okotnik appeared in 2019, where it was recorded at an airfield in Novosibirsk, resembling the American B-2 with its flying wing design. The drone is classified as a strike and reconnaissance drone. According to independent Russian military aviation expert Tom Cooper, it is likely that the Okotnik is still in the testing phase and has not yet entered serial production. It may still be a prototype aircraft. While it is not uncommon for the Russian Air Force to deploy test aircraft to combat zones to gather real-world data, losing a rare and expensive test aircraft during combat testing is a huge setback for the development effort, he points out. The Russians likely deployed the Okotnik because of a shortage of standard surveillance drones, which they are losing in large numbers on the front lines. According to analyst Andrew Perpetua, a third of Russian surveillance drones are shot down by Ukrainian forces every day. In response to the surveillance gap, the Russians decided to deploy the Okotnik, but it fell victim to the same Ukrainian air defenses that have destroyed many of their other drones.